on my campsite worked out. <clears throat> it was windy all night, but the tree blocked most of it. It got so bad that it kept me up for a few hours. But my tent survived, so that's good. I'm back down in Muley Canyon. I'm gonna make my way back to the Jeep and drive to the trailhead for Lower Muley Canyon. Heading down Muley Canyon with the ever-present wind. trailhead for Lower Muley Twist Canyon at a site called The Post where there's an old corral. It's a beautiful day out. It's perfect. It's pretty soon I'm gonna head out on the trail. So the trail came up this way. Up to where I'm standing. And it crosses the slick rock here. Which I'm not willing to do. Because just before you get onto the slick rock, you have to cross some sand that's wet from the rain. And it makes it so you have no grip. So the new plan, I'm going to take the valley down to Mealy Canyon and abandon this route. There's the first view of Lower Muley Twist. site for the night in Cowboy Alcove of Lower Muley Canyon. The 
walls. They're full of names. given enough time, graffiti becomes historical artifact. See some of the inscriptions are from the 20s. There's a huge alcove. It's another alcove. Some sand dunes in it on the far side. On this side, the ceiling has collapsed. As well, this rock is on the ground here. People are also using this as a campsite. But what's on the other side of this rock fall? way to the other side. And what else I thought was interesting? So it looks like there used to be a fence here. Look how tall this cliff face is. I don't know if you can hear that, 
but it sure sounds kind of scary. Hopefully this will give a good sense of size for how big this is. You can see my tent in the center of the shot there. I'll start panning up. 